Good morning to all of you. Thank you very much for giving us this opportunity to talk to you today. Uh, I'm very excited to see that uh, the team in Route 6 put together this type of a very uh, nice seminar uh, with all the uh, key technologies in a file-based workflow. Uh, we at Intera, we play in the QC space. Uh, we focus on uh, making sure that the content that you deal with in your workflow is, uh, is good, is pristine, and when you play out, you know what's, uh, what's going on. Uh, before I begin talking about Baton, let me spend uh, a few seconds talking about Intera, because many of you may not know who we are. We are a, a small Silicon Valley company from Cupertino, uh, one block outside Apple. We, uh, we do two products. Baton uh, is for file-based content verification. We also do another product called Vega, that's for analyzing uh, encoded media streams. In fact, right now there is no major uh, commercial encoder in the market that's not uh, tested using Vega. Almost every commercial encoder in the market is tested using Vega. So uh, with that very brief introduction, let me tell you what we do in Baton. As Chopper was explaining to you, file-based workflow is about uh, wrappers, uh, video, audio, essences, and uh, that's something we, we do well. We take file-based content into Baton, do different types of checks like encoding checks, uh, conformance checks, quality checks, custom checks, and then give you a report. Uh, our workflow is very simple. We take content from a content location. That could be a local storage or uh, in your local area network. Use your templates, which in the Baton world we call test plan, and using a watch folder mechanism or integrating it tightly with the APIs into your workflow, we do the verification, and after that, we send the good content to play out, bad content to quarantine, or however you want to handle it. Uh, as you heard in the previous talk, file-based workflow is all about wrappers, uh, video essence, and audio essence. So the tool you pick, you must have the ability to address most of the uh, containers, uh, audio and video codecs that are there inside. And we believe that our tool, Baton, really provides industry's wide, widest range of choice in that respect. As you can see, we do most of the uh, video codecs, most of the audio codecs, and of course, a very wide choice of containers. And that's, that's important because that's going to determine what type of uh, content verification you will eventually do. Uh, Baton uh, has lots of things inside that uh, helps it become the, uh, the dominant file-based QC tool it is in the market today. Some of these are listed here. Uh, very significantly enhanced core functions, verification efficiency, integration readiness. Uh, integration readiness is a very important thing in a file-based workflow because more often than not, the QC tool sits in the workflow with other things. The other technology components, like your transcoders, like your MAM, are as important. And in the case of Baton, the integration readiness is significantly better than the other tools. We have integration done with most of the important products. Uh, enterprise readiness, like things like redundancy in the content verification process, are inherent to Baton. And of course, all of that leads to a very significant customer adoption. In the file-based world, uh, one thing to ask is, uh, whether it's working already or not. It's a very important question because you don't want to discover problems after you have embarked on your own journey uh, of file-based workflow. And in the case of Baton, I think that uh, insurance is almost guaranteed. Some of these are examples of the integration already done with Baton. This is an ongoing process. We uh, continue to uh, do other integrations into Baton. And this is what is very important for you because uh, file-based workflow is, uh, is here to stay. The adoption, the pace at which it is picking up momentum is very, very significant. And one critical point we try to make in this slide is that whether it is, uh, it's Apple for iTunes in the United States or um, large post houses like Deluxe or uh, very large broadcasters like NBC or carriers like AT&T, uh, it's the same file-based QC tool that's being used. Uh, 
in other words, the, the components, like Chopper was explaining to you how to break down a file and, and really understanding what is inside, many of that remains the same. The use cases are different. Many times when we walk into these type of discussions, we find that people want to have different types of playout. They want to have different types of verification mechanisms set up. But there are a lot of similarities inside. So it's very important for you, regardless of the business that you are in, to understand that your tool should be flexible, should be integration ready, and should have a fair bit of deployment to give you that assurance that it could work in all of those different scenarios. Uh, we work with several technology partners. You are going to um, uh, hear a presentation uh, uh, from Aspera. That's a very important partner for us. We are very proud to work with them in some of our very large Baton accounts. We work with Aspera in a very integrated manner. We do content verification using Baton. And then after the play out, uh, we take the files using Aspera to the uh, location of choice. And then from there, again, Baton takes over for the remaining uh, part of the workflow. We have uh, some of our biggest accounts in the world deploying Baton and Aspera together. One example is DirecTV in the United States. It's uh, one of the largest Baton installations in the world. It uses both Baton and Aspera. And I'm very happy to uh, see that today we are using this platform to talk about file-based workflow together. And then, again, with the content agent offering from Root 6, we are very tightly integrated. Uh, as Chopper was pointing out to you earlier, that in the file-based workflow, it's all about working together. You need to understand how each one plays with the other. And here, we already have this integrated solution available to you. So with those few words about Baton and how we work with other tools and why these attributes are important in file-based workflow, let me hand over to my friend Chopper here for the next part. Thank you, as you see it. So um, we, ju we just put this slide up in here because, again, we're going to be talking about lots of separated products today. And you know, clearly in our firebase words, automation um, requires a lot of integration and information exchange in a real-time progressive uh, response. Um, in, in the old days, the way we used to trigger off other events in traditional equipments, we had GPIs. Um, the, the current concept of a GPI today for me is a watch folder. So we have that basic uh, GPI trigger where we can drop a file into a folder and then another uh, application is watching that folder and it sees activity and then it actually triggers its workflow. It's very manual, very sequential, and there's very little, there's, well, there's no information exchange in between the two of them. So we're hearing a lot about APIs, SDKs, web services now that enable us to fully integrate uh, these solutions into, into a, a workflow. Um, and what we did uh, with, with Content Agent, um, we actually showed this for the first time at NAB, um, we were able to uh, integrate Baton directly into our own workflow system. So now what we have, we have our own ba Baton workflow node that you can see up there. Um, that actually uh, uh, delivers the file to Baton. It tells Baton what template it has to run. It also gets a progress report as that file is running. So I know how long it's going to take me for that file to be finished. And in this scenario, what we're able to do is we're able to temporarily hold our workflow up until Baton gives us back the finished result. Now, what Baton's going to do is it's going to give us metadata. It's not going to modify the file. It's actually going to give us metadata. So the great news now is that they, we can deliver the file. We can get progress reports. We can define the job we want to be done on Baton, and we can get metadata on, because that metadata is going to be fundamental about how we progress our workflow afterwards. Um, the, the obvious scenario is pass or fail our QC. If we uh, fail um, the things, well, we have to take a very different decision on what we want to do in that. In this scenario, what we say is, well, we want someone to have a look at the file and, do, and, and find out what's going on with the file. The beauty is, is we, we have a decision node on there. So if it fails onto the system, we deliver the file to a different location. And the great thing with, with the Baton integration, we also get a full PDF report that we can email to the person as well, saying, go and look at this file. Here's the URL where the file is. Here's the report. You need to look at this and decide what you're going to do. And within that report, not only do we go into the file, we can actually go to the time code point where we're seeing the error, or if it's a wrapper or a codec error, we can have all those defined. So it's very intuitive on the whole system. The other great news now is obviously if we pass that file, so now we have our, our properly wrapped um, and our properly uh, contained um, codec um, into the system, it's all set up and now we need to deliver it to the broadcaster. And that really brings us into our next step of the change about well, how do we manage deliverables into a broadcaster. So what we typically now is now deliver this to a product called Aspira, and I can introduce you to Bridget, 
who's going to come and talk to us about uh, Aspira uh, integration. Thank you.